All right, today I'll be showing you how you unlock your Sprint HCC Evo to Boost Mobile. If you haven't done so already, you want to go ahead and purchase our how-to guide by following the link in the description of the video. I'll give you a quick preview of our guide. It's eight pages long. It's written in PDF format, and there is five steps. Step one, step two, step, um, step three, four, and five. Step five is programming the phone, programming your Sprint HCC Evo to Boost Mobile. And that is the step we'll be doing today. I'll be demonstrating that step. All right, so once you have the guide and you've completed the first four steps, should take you about 30 to 45 minutes to do that. You want to go ahead and then step five, you want to make sure you have your donor phone's profile zero and profile one information, your HA and your AAA shared password for profile zero and profile one. Then you want to open up Q, <coughs> excuse me, getting ahead of myself. You're going to, want to go to your Sprint HCC Evo and make sure you have USB debugging enabled. So you do that by hitting menu, settings applications, development, and make sure you have USB debugging checked. You then want to plug in your HCC Evo. Charge only. Now from the phone dial pad you want to press pound pound three four two four pound. This will put you in DM command service now you're ready to program the phone to boost mobile so now you want to open up QPST configuration make sure you're calm you see your phone this the Evo's right here it's running on COM 25 start clients service programming it's gonna bring up this screen it's gonna say phone selection there's our phone we're gonna select OK now we're going to want to go, let me pull this down, now we're going to want to select read from phone, it's going to prompt you for your SPC code, go ahead and enter your six digit SPC code, and select OK. Now you're going to want to come over here, do these two arrows, click over a couple times and select MIP. Before we begin, you're going to want to go to step, or excuse me, profile 2 right here. Select edit and disable profile enabled. Uncheck it. Select OK. Do that for, this, for step 3, 4, and 5 too. All Now you're going to want to go to Profile Zero and select Edit and go ahead and enter your Profile Zero NAI. Just going to do a copy and paste from Notepad. Make sure all the numbers are right from your donor cell phone. Okay, all that looks good. You then are going to want to go to pull this up. Your HA shared password, and it says enter hex value. You want to enter your HA shared password for profile zero. Do the same for a triple A shared password. and select OK. Now go to profile 1, do the same thing with your <clears throat> profile 1 information. Put in your NAI. Now 
Make sure your primary HA address and primary, or excuse me, secondary HA address are the same as on your notepad from your donor cell phone. These are correct. Now we're going to enter the HA shared password, the hex value. You want to select, paste that in. Same thing for the AAA password. Now select OK. <clears throat> now, see this active user? You're going to want to change that to zero and select write to phone. This is normal, this little prompt screen. Just select OK, OK, and you're done. We're going to go back to the Boost Mobile, or excuse me, the. it's going to reboot itself your Sprint HTC Evo going to go ahead and unplug it Close all these programs real quick. Okay. Now, as soon as your phone reboots, it may take a while, and if it's not rebooting, just go ahead and do a battery pull, and everything will be okay. So now that's rebooted. I still have it in airplane mode. We're going to disable that DM command now this is very important you're going to want to go on your phone and the dial pad and type pound pound three two eight two pound this brings up your EPST that's how you're going to finish the programming select edit mode type in your MSL code or SPC code and you want to go to advanced go to MMS server we're going to want to edit that we're going to change that to MMM dot my boost mobile dot com select OK hit menu commit modifications so everything's changed now so now what we're going to want to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn airplane mode off And the 3G should appear right here. So in this case, it's not doing it. So we're going to, there we go. So now you can see we have the 3G right here means our data is working and we're going to have 3G speeds so let's go ahead and look at the internet also note my speeds are going to be a little bit slower I am inside and don't get very good service where we're at for Boost Mobile Let's go to Google. We don't need to load that page. So you see the data works. We don't want to share our location. Go ahead and call 611. You can hear Boost Mobile. Welcome to Boost Mobile. 
And as you can see, everything functions on the phone. Our data is working. You can see the weather, the time. You can watch Sprint TV also. So once I upgrade, I'm going to go ahead and leave that. So that's how you unlock and flash your Sprint HTC over to Boost Mobile. Now there are obviously previous steps to get here. And we didn't include that in the video because the video would have been well over. Well, we're at 10 minutes now, so it would have easily been 40 to 45 minutes. And we don't want to make two videos of this. So this is just the one video. This is showing you how to program it and unlock it. There are previous steps you're going to take, and all those steps are in our guide. Our guide is easy to use, and we keep it updated. So if you have any questions, go ahead and you can message us on eBay or contact us through our website. We do also offer a mail-in service. It's reasonably priced. Turnaround time is within 24 hours. As soon as we get the phone, we convert it for you. Or you can purchase our guide and unlock your phone. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.